Seasons Greetings from Family, Career, and Community Leaders of America. For those of you who do not know, my name is Dawn Lindsley, and I'm the 2013-2014 National FCCLA Board of Directors Chair. As an alumni member of this organization and a former chapter advisor for 11 years, it is truly an honor and privilege to serve you this year. FCCLA is the ultimate leadership experience giving our members confidence and experience to be successful in their families, careers, and communities now and in the future. It is humbling to sit here many years later and say thank you to so many members, alumni, chapter and state advisors, national staff, organization stakeholders, and business and industry partners. FCCLA would not be where it is today without all of your encouragement and continued support. Thank you so much. A little over a year ago, as a member of the Board of Directors, I sent out a survey of what's working and what's not to a variety of our stakeholders. We received a tremendous response, some good, some not so good. It gave the Board enough evidence to know we needed to make some changes in order for the organization to grow and thrive moving forward. Change is hard. It is human nature to resist things in which we are unfamiliar but change was what was necessary to move forward in a positive direction. It has not been easy. We truly understand that and we appreciate your flexibility and patience through this endeavor. I want to publicly thank all of the FCCLA national staff, those who have continued on with the organization and those new to headquarters in Reston, Virginia. These people have a genuine passion for FCCLA and want the organization to be successful. We do appreciate your daily efforts, even if we do not always say it. My next shout out is to our new National FCCLA Executive Director, Sandy Spavoni, as well as the FCCLA Board of Directors, past and present. It takes strong and ongoing leadership to navigate organizational change. You have all done a tremendous job. Keep up the good work. Lastly, to our organization and business and industry partners, state and chapter advisors, alumni and associates, and most importantly, our members. Without all of you, we would not exist today. You all understand the absolute undeniable value of family, career, and community leaders of America. No words can express the hard work, time, and energy you give. With all of us working together, FCCLA continues to be relevant, meeting the needs of our youth and families today and in the future. John F. Kennedy once said, change is the law of life and those who look only to the past and present are sure to miss the future. As we reflect back, please remember to focus on the amazing work of FCCLA despite our growing pains of organizational change this past year. Sometimes we get into the daily grind of things and focus on small details that shape our view. It is important that we take a moment from time to time to look at the big picture and realize the good work that happens because we are here. Our members have achieved many great accomplishments and continue to have a tremendously positive impact on our society as a whole. As the current National FCCLA Board of Directors Chair, I want you to know I am open to your feedback. We still need to know what's working and what's not to help us continue to move forward in a positive direction. I will be sending out this survey again shortly, but if you do not receive it and have something to say, please email me at dawn, D-A-W-N, Lindsley, L-I-N-D-S-L-E-Y, at gmail.com. In order for you to keep updated, please tune back in for future video chats from myself. I plan to do this on a regular basis throughout this next semester. Our sources of information, other sources of information, can be obtained from newsletter updates from our Executive Director, Sandy Spavoni, the FCCLA website, the Teen Times Quarterly Magazine, The Advisor, or Spread the Red for alumni and associate members. Until next time, this is Don Lindsley, FCCLA Board of Directors Chair, signing off.